In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step how to create an online course website from scratch. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to create your own online course website, which will enable you to sell your courses. So before we get started, let me show you what we're going to be designing in today's tutorial. So here is our main landing page. I'm going to show you how to put this page all together. And then I'm also going to show you how to create other pages. For example, if I come over here to get started, it takes us now to our courses page. So far, we only have one course, but you can create as many courses as you want. So if I click here on my fitness course, it's going to take me to a page. Now, this page is for those that are not enrolled. So you can see here, it has a status that says not enrolled, the price, and then it says take this course. So all these lessons here are, are visible, but you can't take them until you purchase the course. So I'm going to show you step by step how to make this course a paid course. Next, if I come over here to take this course, it's going to take us now to a page where you can finalize, make the payment. And I'm going to show you all the software that you need in order for you to make this work. I also want to show you what happens if you are a paid student. Now, if you're a student, if you click on the course, it takes you straight to the main dashboard. So as you can see here, we have a list of all our courses. And if we click on any of these, you can actually go into the actual course and start learning. I'll also show you how to create this beautiful layout, which allows a beautiful interface for all your students to learn from. So as you can see here, we have our completion steps. We also have our previous. We can also mark as complete. And now over here to the right, we also have the ability to go to different pages. So for example, if you want to see all your courses, you can come over here to your profile and this is where the list of all your courses is going to be. So I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to create a completely functional online course website. Okay, so the first step is to create a blank WordPress website. So I've already gone ahead and done this. Now you can do this either by installing WordPress on your hosting account, or you can use a service like ZipWP, which is what I am using right now. All right, so the next step now is to purchase LearnDash. Now I highly recommend LearnDash because it is easy to use, as you shall see in this tutorial. So over here, you wanna go and click on LearnDash LMS. So I already have LearnDash. So to download it, you wanna come over here to subscriptions. So I'm gonna copy my license key. All right, so so far we have all the ingredients we need to set up our online course website. Now let's head over here and start installing our software. And then we're gonna come over here to plugins. We're gonna click on add new plugin. So I'm gonna click over here and then we're gonna to go to choose file. Next, I'm gonna double click on the file that I've just downloaded, click on install, and then we're gonna activate. So here we have our main setup wizard, which is also very important if you're a beginner, but if you wanna go straight in and do everything yourself, you can also skip this step. So let's head over here and click on get started. So here we're gonna add our purchase email. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna paste my license key like that and validate. Okay, now it's saying my license is valid, which is fantastic. Now I just have to click on next. So at this stage, I just have to answer a few questions. So here it's saying, do you want to import a demo course? Now I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave that at no. And then how many courses are you planning to create? I'm just going to say just one. And then what type of courses will you have? Click all that apply. So I'm just going to go with simple. I don't really need a certificate for this and it doesn't have to be timed. So I'm gonna go with simple. I'm gonna now click on next. Okay, so the next stage is super important because this is where we get to decide whether we're gonna make our course paid or not. So let's go ahead now and click on next. So here we have two options. We have WooCommerce and Stripe. Now here's the thing. If you choose WooCommerce, you're going to have more options of choosing different currencies or different or choosing different payment options. Now with Stripe, you can't really use it in some countries. So it may be a good option for you to go with WooCommerce in that situation. So for me in the UK, Stripe is available, which is pretty cool. And I'm sure it's available pretty much in Europe and America, but in some countries, it may not be available. So your next option would be WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce also has another powerful feature. You can use WooCommerce with, uh, let's say, card flows or WP funnels, and you can have a sales funnel system that's going to sell your courses. And this is super, super powerful. But anyways, let's go ahead now and choose our country here. I'm going to go with United Kingdom. 
but you can choose whatever country you want. Next, I'm going to click here, and now it's giving us a summary of what's going to go on here. So we're going to have our course grid, our certificate builder, and so on. Okay, now let's click on save and complete. So we need to set up uh, WooCommerce here. So let me go ahead now and click on skip guided setup. I don't really need to go in and set that up. Okay, so over here, we need to choose our country. So again, I'm going to set to United Kingdom. Now I'm going to dismiss this for now. And then I'm going to come over here to learn dash setup. And over here now you can see that we've done the first part. So what we've done here is set up our site. The next step now is the design option. This is where we need to go in and design the look and feel of our online course website. But we have an option to design our online course website with any page builder out there. So let's go ahead and choose our starter template. Again, it's reminding us that this is an optional step. All right, let's go ahead and click I understand and continue. So there are several examples here. So we can see here, this is about business. So if I can click either on select or preview. So let's go ahead and do a quick preview and take a look at the pages. So as you can see here, this is really nice. So this is about teaching about passive income. So the layout is pretty straightforward here and it looks very clean and very, very professional. But you know what? I really like this, but let me also show you other options that we have. So over here, you can see we have marketing and SEO. We also have healthy and uh, livelihood here. But the good thing is with these options, it doesn't mean that if you can't find your niche, pretty much you cannot create a starter template. You can actually go in and replace the images that you have here with your own images. All right, so let's go ahead and choose uh, the very first one here, which is this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on select. And then over here, I'm going to click on next to go to the next step. And this is where we get to choose our fonts. So I think I'm going to go with this one here. Now let's go to our colors. And look at this. We have our color palettes ready for us, which means I can just go in and choose whatever color palette that I want. And I like the fact that this color palette now gets applied across the whole website. Look at that. Now I know that the change is very subtle. Now we also have a dark mode here, which is fantastic if you are a fan of dark mode. But in my case, um, I'm not going to go with dark mode. So I'm just going to go with something basic like this. Okay, so now that I'm happy with the colors section, let's, let's click on next and then we're going to save and continue. Now, let me explain what is happening at this stage. So right now it's installing the theme. It's also installing the plugins and also the colors. So the theme we're going to be using here is called Cadence. It's absolutely free. And the advantage that we have at this point is we haven't spent a penny purchasing any page builders or any plugins. The only plugins that we've purchased is LearnDash. And pretty much we are good to go. WooCommerce is absolutely free. All right, so now it's asking us to exit the, uh, the setup or visit the website. Okay, so this is our website. So if you wanted to customize this, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is to click on edit page. Now, this is the beauty of using Cadence because it is very, very easy to go in and customize what we've just built. We can go in and change our colors, change our images and so on and really customize our website. Okay, so let's say we want to change this background image. All we have to do is to come over here to edit image, select files. And here is my image right here. And then I'm going to go in and select. And just like that, I've now changed the image here for my website. And in a few clicks, you've noticed that my image now has changed into a fitness type uh, website, which is pretty cool. So we can go in and further customize this by readjusting our image here. So if you want our image to really focus over here like that, you can just keep moving all these uh, controls. Now we also have an option here for the uh, overlay opacity. Look at that. So if we do that now, we're just giving a hint of what our hero area is, uh, is about. And then we can go in and further customize this if we wanted to. So you can just do this by clicking over here. And you notice that over here, we can go in and change the colors. So I can change this to a much darker color, like for example, maybe that. And remember, these colors here are colors from our color palette. And by the way, if you want to change the text over here again, you can go in and change this. Now, let's say we want to create our courses. How easy it is to create our courses. Now, let me show you how to do that. So you want to come over here on Learn Dash and then you want to go to Courses. So I'm going to go to Add Your First Course. So you want to give it a title. So we're going to call this My Fitness Course. 
We're going to give this a bit of a description over here. And then we're going to go ahead and publish it or we can save it as draft. So I'm going to save it as draft. Next, we're going to come over here to the builder. And this is where we're going to start adding all our sections. So we're going to start with this section here and we're going to call this module one. We might as well add another one. So this could be module two. So we can continue adding these until we are happy with the amount of modules that we want. So now that we have all our modules all set, the next step now is to start adding all our lessons. So I'm going to click here on this plus button for our lessons. So this is lesson one. Again, I'm going to click on add lesson. We're going to continue on. So now that I've added all my lessons, the really cool thing about this is I can go in here and also update this if I wanted to. So let's say this is lesson zero. I can just go in and change it like that. And then over here on the right, you can just click on save. So everything here is drag and drop. So I can just drag this, take this to module one like that. So I can really pinpoint where I want all my lessons to go. And maybe lesson four here needs to go to module two, just like that. Now I can click on save draft. So it's important that as you're adding all your lessons or all your sections, you want to continue on and save the draft because if you move away from this page, you may lose all the content that you've created. Anyway, so I have all this set. Okay, so now that we have all our lessons, the next step now is to go in and add all our content. So to do that, we're going to come over here to lesson one. So all you need to do is to hover over here and then click on edit. And then I can paste my content in here like that. Now, if I wanted to add maybe audio, I can go in and add the block. So let's click here on this plus button and search for audio. Now, this is using Gutenberg blocks. So I can click here on audio. And then now you can see I can insert from URL or I can upload it. Or if it's in the media library, I can add it from the media library. Now, I don't have any audio here, but this is how you would add it. Anyway, let's click on update. So that's our lesson one all done. Now, the cool thing here as well is you can go in and also hyperlink this. So you can just highlight the text like that. Click on this little icon here and then you can add your hyperlink. So I'm going to add a blank link like that and then click on update. So once you're done with this lesson, and you've updated it, the next step now is to go back to the lessons. So now we have a list of all our lessons. And at any point, if you want to see all the courses, you can just come over here to courses. In this example, I'm going to show you how to add videos onto your course. All right, so to do that, I'm using Vimeo. So I'm going to come all the way down here and I've uploaded a video here to Vimeo. And I'll explain in a moment why, it, uh, why I use Vimeo. So I'm just going to go in and copy the link. So I can just go to any one of these. Copy the link like that, and then I'm going to go in and paste it. So back over here now, this time it's going to be on lesson two. We're going to go in and click on edit like how we did before. Now just notice that it's saying leave. So I'm going to make sure this is published. Or if you want to save it, you can save it. And then I'm going to go into lesson two. So over here, I need to add Vimeo. And here it is. And now I can paste my URL like that. Click on embed. And in a moment, we're going to see a video. And sure enough, we have a video. Now, if you wanted to add some text in here, you can go in and add a text block and do that. But for now, I'm just going to go in and click on update. So now we have two lessons. One just has the text and the other one has the video. All right. So what we're going to do next. Oh, by the way, I didn't explain why we need Vimeo. So you can use YouTube. But the problem is with YouTube, you're not able to protect it. So with Vimeo, it has more features where I can protect my videos from either not being downloaded or not being shown from specific URLs. So it has, you know, much better options. And I can also go in and customize my video player. It's much, much cleaner. I mean, as you can see here, I don't have a lot going on here. But of course, that comes at a price. So you do have to go and pay for the membership. Okay, so now that everything is done here, I'm going to go in and click on update. All right, so the next step now is to head over here to our menu. So I'm going to go to appearance and then click on menus. I just want to order my pages so I can see where everything is. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to call my menu main menu. I'm going to go ahead now and save the menu. And then next, I am going to come over here and choose all the pages that I need to add. So it's going to be the home page, the blog, the about. In fact, I can add all these pages and add to menu. All right, great. So what I want to do now is to just go in and rearrange a few things here. Okay, so now that our menu has been sorted, if we come over here to our site and refresh, 
you're going to notice now that um, it is much simpler and it's much easier to look at. All right, so pretty much we are good to go. The next step now is to go in and add our pricing for our main course. So what I'm going to do is come over here to WooCommerce and then we're going to add a new product. So our product here is going to be my fitness course. Now, I don't need to give this a description over here and we're going to say downloadable and then we're going to give it a surprise. So maybe this is 197 and then for now, I'm going to go ahead and publish. So it's time now to take a look at what we've done so far. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come ahead over here to our courses page and this is going to list all our courses on our website, which is pretty cool. Now you can see here that this looks really nice. Now, if I click on my fitness course here, it should take us to the course landing page, which looks like this. Now, remember, we added some lessons. So if you want to take a look at them, we can just click on lesson one. And this is going to show you like what it's going to look like. And pretty much this is good. If you want to mark this as complete, we can just go ahead and do that. And then we're going to move on to the next lesson, which is ne lesson two. Now here, remember, we added a video. So this is what it looks like. But it, there's a few things that we can do here in terms of the layout and the look of uh, the lessons page. And let me show you what you can quickly do over here. So we're going to come back over here and we're going to go to learn dash and then we're going to go to settings. Oops. So we're going to come all the way down here to settings. So here there's a setting called focus mode. If I activate this, I can change my content width so normally i go with 1180 but you can go with whatever uh, you want here and then here we also have the mode sidebar position i'm going to leave it on the left and then click on save now when we come over here on our lessons page and refresh you're going to notice that the layout now has changed and this looks much much better it's more modern now over here you can see it's 25 percent complete it's one out of four steps which is cool over here, we also have a drop down. It goes to my courses home. It goes to my courses, my profile. So if I click on profile here, it's going to show me my profile page, which then lists all my courses that I am logged into or that I'm uh, subscribed to, which is pretty cool. So here again, if you click on this course, it takes you to the actual course. And then if I click on this drop down here, it tells me my course progress. So as you can see, this is really, really powerful and we can go in and tweak whatever we want. Now, there's a few things that I also want to show you on this page. We can change our accent color here depending on what colors you use for your color palettes, for your brand. Here we have the, the progress bar as well, and we have our notifications. So there's a few things we can go in and change. Now, let's go ahead and save because if we don't save this, we're going to lose all our settings. Now, there's also a page which is very important here, which is the courses. We need to go in and set our price for our course. So we're going to come over here and click on settings. So you can see here on this specific course, I have the builder, extend access and the settings. This is the tab we are interested in. So you notice now we have access mode. So this one here, when it's opened, it means it's not protected and user can access without any need to be logged in or enrolled. Now, this one here, it needs a registration, and the buy now means the course is protected via Learn Dash built in PayPal or Stripe. Now, remember, we had an option for Stripe, so this is what you would need to choose. So back over here now, this is a totally different one. We can have a sales funnel system connected to this. So if we set it to closed, we can add our button here, or our price, sorry. So let's say this is 197 and then we can have our button URL to go and purchase the course. So let's say we come back over here. Let's go to the dashboard and we're going to go to our products, which we created in WooCommerce, which is our course. So here it is here. It's my fitness course. So let's go ahead and view it because this is the URL that we're going to need. So it's right here. So I could link to this URL and this is the URL which you would add over here. Now, I want to show you something very exciting that happens once I hit update. So let's say we go back to our normal page, which is the courses page. So now if I come over here to my courses page and I click on my fitness course, instead of this taking me to the actual lessons, notice that now we have this information here. It's telling me I'm not enrolled. The price is 197. And if I want to take this course, it's going to take me to that uh, page. But before I do that, notice what happens if I try to go to any lessons. I can't go to the lessons. So I can now click on take this course and it's going to take me now to that payment page. Look at that. So we can specify 
whatever page we want to take our payments. And at this point now, I can go in and click on add to cart. But notice that I don't have my image here for the course. I can easily fix that by going to the actual um, product and then adding an image. So let's go back to our courses here. And we're going to come all the way down here to products and then click on all products. So the one that we need is the very first one, which is my fitness. I'm going to click on edit. And then all I have to do now is to go in and add my image. So we're going to come over here to product image. And then I'm just going to select my product image like that. Click on update and we're good to go. Now over here on our site, you're also going to notice that because we're logged in, it's going to give us a different option when I come over here to courses. So over here now, when I click on my fitness course, because I'm logged in, it now shows me all the information here. I can go to my lesson much, much easier because I'm already logged in. So if you are logged out, you won't have access to the lessons, all the courses. It'll give you an option to click on the button to purchase. And then this will take you to the page where you can make the payment. Okay, so as you can see, this was very, very easy to set up our Learn Dash website. So the first step was we went in and we created a blank WordPress website. The next step was to install uh, Learn Dash. And then after that, we installed our starter template. We added our lessons, we added our course. And then finally, we added WooCommerce to act as our payment gateway. We connected every Everything and pretty much we have now a website where you can sell all your courses. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.